Welcome to the channel, friends. So today I want to share with you guys uh, the latest modification I am doing on my Honda snowblower. Now this here can be done to any snowblower as long as you have a open exposed auger shaft. So I made these rotating paddles that rotate freely on the auger shaft. As you can see here, I'm just demonstrating it on the socket. And essentially the concept and the idea behind this is that if you put a few of these next to each other, they will break loose all the um, excessive buildup from snow and ice on your auger shaft and you won't be left with a big heavy clump of snow um, inside the bucket of your snowblower attached to the auger shaft. If you do a lot of heavy wet snow, it usually ends up getting built up on the actual auger. You guys that have a lot of experience with snowblowers know exactly what I'm talking about. It ends up clumping and sticking to the actual auger spiral or helix. Uh, but this here, I actually got this idea from a Japanese video. I forget um, where I saw it, uh, what the channel is, but it's a, it was a Japanese video. It was all Japanese text and title. Uh, and essentially they made these tabs that rotate freely and I kind of decided to put my own spin on it and made them um, according to my own kind of design here. So it's a very simple concept, very simple uh, design. It's just basically a piece of uh, heated up plastic, which is HDPE. And I bent it around the socket, which is slightly larger diameter than the auger shaft. And then go ahead and attach it with stainless steel uh, bolt and uh, nylon lock washer. Now I'm not going to cinch this down all the way because I want it to like rotate freely. So I have to adjust it so each one has free play and it's not going to be kind of like, you know, attached permanently to the shaft. You want these things to spin and kind of to like hang like this in their free state. So that way when they get bounced around and moved around by the movement of the auger or the volume of snow being pushed in through the auger housing, they will constantly break loose the material along the shaft. And what should happen is at the end of your snow blowing, um, you know, day or whatever, uh, you should have nothing built up on your auger. So I'm gonna put that to use and see if it works um, just the same way as I saw it done in that video. But I'm gonna go ahead now and kind of briefly describe how I did this. Like I said, I bent it around the socket with heat and then I used the handbrake to kind of pinch it like this to form that crease. And then kind of, I just played with that until I got uh, the shape that I desired. So once I bent up the actual plastic, I went ahead and, and marked some lines where I wanted the hole on each one of them. And then I did a center punch and then I drilled through uh, with a 3 16 drill bit. You can use any size hole and bolt that you have, stuff that's laying around. I decided to go with stainless steel hardware and um, HDPE material because it's just stuff that I have left around uh, from my snowblower cover, uh, shoot cover that I made, that I custom make. So uh, this is a great material. It's great for low temperatures. It's very durable. Um, that's the most important part. You want it to be durable. It's going to take a lot of abuse. It's going to be hit by snow and ice. Uh, and then um, that's it. I mean, it's, I just went ahead and cleaned up, cleaned everything up with some uh, sanding block because it was kind of roughed out from the, the bandsaw. So everything is smooth. There's not a lot of uh, roughness or sharp edges or anything. Everything is nice and blended. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and install 10 of these on my machine. I don't need all 12 that I have here, even though I made more than I need just to have a couple extra. Uh, but today I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the machine in operation rotating the auger I will leave the actual snow blowing for a separate video uh, And today is just going to be straight up just the install of these and showing you what they look like when they're rotating on the machine So let me go ahead and get the machine ready get these installed and hang tight
right guys, so there you go. As you saw in the previous clip, the paddles in motion. They kind of do their own kind of random movement. They kind of shift around. They spin freely. And uh, that movement right there is what's going to prevent the buildup of ice and snow on your auger shaft. Uh, I've had times where the ice and snow builds up a lot. So hopefully this is going to take care of that. Um, as you guys know, once that does happen, it kind of weighs down the front of the machine a lot. Now that's a good thing and it's a bad thing because then all that material has to either be taken out by hand or you have to let it thaw out and it's going to be all over your garage. So hopefully this modification will prevent that excessive snow buildup along the auger shaft and um, provide for a good performance. So I'm going to make another video after this uh, of the paddles in action chewing on snow and see how they perform. I'm going to keep this as just a, a quick install video and demonstration video, but stay tuned for that video and uh, I'll show you guys how the actual modification performs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. Please like the video and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.